Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday meditation gathering. I'm so glad you're all here to share this time together. This week, we have Leah Steinson, who is going to lead us in meditation. And then we have 20 minutes of silence. After that, we're going to open it up for sharing and we end at 1045. And just to let you know that on December um, 27th, that's a Tuesday at 7 p.m., Leah is going to be doing a Miracle Cafe. So if you want to join us, um, you can sign in. Okay, over to you, Leah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, and the 27th is called Real Christmas. And it'd be lovely if uh, some extra people would like to offer something they want to read or sing or music or whatever. This is going to be a celebration of the teachings of Jesus. So good. Now I'd like to invite you to close your eyes. Benediction. There is only one Son of God, and you are he. From him you receive, to him you give. When you look at yourself, may you remember. When you look at your brother, may you also remember. When you look away in fear, remember only this, subject and object, lover and beloved, are not two, but one and the same. What you give <clears throat> and what you receive are reflections of each other. And just take a moment with your eyes closed <clears throat> to remember that we are one. As you breathe, let those words resonate in your heart, your mind, because they are the truth. We are one. We are one. And gently returning. I'd like to talk today about surrender. It seems to me that the world we live in has adopted an approach to life that is just about opposite in every way to the idea of surrender. Of course, the ego likes that. Because the ego likes to control and try to fix everything, to make everything be in line with its, its own ideas. It's about being proactive and, uh, and powerful and famous and rich and the whole ethos of this illusory world takes us in the opposite direction to surrender. For me, surrender is about knowing that in myself, in, I know nothing. I don't know what anything's for. I always think those first 50 lessons are so amazing, even now, um, because they seem to contain the whole truth for us. They prepare us. So if I don't know anything, and the ego is trying to fix and control everything, that's going to be a pretty hopeless approach. And it seems to me that it's, it's so helpful if we focus on the idea of letting go, of letting God, of being guided, of giving up you know, the control of our minds to the Holy Spirit instead of to the ego. Because the mind is always under the control, isn't it, of one or the other. It's not a totally neutral, well, it is in itself, in essence, is neutral, but it's who we give the control of our mind to. So surrender seems to me a very important concept for us to work with. I'm going to focus as well. I know there's not lots of time, but I think we can get some important bits in here. Going to focus on the lesson that's coming up quite soon for us. Lesson 353. My eyes, my tongue, my hands, my feet today have but one purpose, to be given Christ, to use, the, to bless the world with miracles. So isn't that lovely, that sense that we're just totally offering up everything that we appear to be in this illusion to be used by the Holy Spirit, to be used in service. And I'm going to sing something, um, <laughs> something about music for me. I'm not 
particularly a singer, well, not at all a singer, but I sing anyway. Um, and music and song seem to have the power to soften and open our hearts. If there was time, I would get you to write down the words to this so we could have a go sing it together, but that would take too long. So instead, I'm just going to sing it to you. And this came to me from, you know, the wonderful companion books that um, Alan Watson uh, wrote. Uh, in one of them, I don't think it's this particular lesson, he refers to this song, which is really a hymn. And I hadn't even come across it. I'd never been a church girl, but I thought this is a wonderful song. And I started to sing it. <clears throat> And it wasn't until much later that somebody said, that's very sweet, that song, but you seem to sing it to the, to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And I thought, oh, well, <laughs> you know, there's a beautiful childlike innocence in that. So I would like to sing you this song. I'd like you to feel what it's really saying that echoes the teaching of this lesson, that we're just surrendering all our attempts to make anything like we think it should be and giving it all up to God. So perhaps you'd like to close your eyes. It's not about looking at me. Um, I may sing out of tune, but I, you know, that's not the important bit. The important bit is as my heart opens as I sing, <clears throat> I invite your hearts to open and that we meet in that oneness that we talked about at the beginning. <clears throat> Okay, if you close your eyes, take a deep breath, just feel that sense of opening, resting, softening into our hearts. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my arms and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee. Take my voice and let me sing ever only of my King. Just staying with your eyes closed a moment longer, just really feeling the surrender in that him giving everything that we are up to God acknowledging our, that we have no idea what to think what to do where to go on our own and if we think we do we'll be coming from our egos so just resting in that, that beautiful place of surrender I'm going to read from the text very early on, you'll all know this beautiful prayer, but it so goes with the theme of surrender. <clears throat> I am here only to be truly helpful. I am here to represent him who sent me. I do not have to worry about what to say or what to do, because he who sent me will direct me. I am content to be wherever he wishes, knowing he goes there with me. I will be healed as I let him teach me to heal. I just maybe let those words echo, the beginning words echo in your mind, your heart, together. I am here only to be truly helpful. So a sense of emptying out thought, ideas, past, future coming entirely into this present moment. I'd like to lead you into us into meditation with the rest of the lesson that we began with. So really, you might, we might as well, or you might as well keep your eyes closed. 
and we'll just go gently into the meditation from the rest of this lesson. Come back to it again. So I remind you, my eyes, my tongue, my hands, my feet today have but one purpose, to be given Christ, to use to bless the world with miracles. And the prayer, Father, I give all that is mine today to Christ, to use in, in, in any way that will best serve the purpose that I share with him. Nothing is mine alone, for he and I have joined in purpose. Thus has learning come about almost to its appointed end. A while I work with him to serve his purpose. Then I lose myself in my identity and recognize that Christ is but myself. So preparing for the meditation now with recognizing the way the ego tries to make us judge, criticize, to complain, to moan. And in all the hours, thinking hours that we have each day, that we're always making a choice. Often we're not noticing that choice, but we are always choosing who to give our minds to. So now we're just taking another step forward, another step towards the surrender of our thinking. So we more and more spend our time thinking the thoughts we share with God. So feel yourself letting go. Just say in your mind, I let go of all my temptations to judge and complain. I let go of the past and the future. I come into the present now. And really knowing that when we're here now in this present moment without commentaries on the world, we're living in the essence of the divine, of love, peace and joy, the truth of our being, resting peacefully. So now, to spend a little bit longer preparing so that we're fully present and able to really benefit from our meditation together. The body is, and its senses are very useful in terms of communication. And we can use the awareness to bring ourselves fully here now. So notice your feet on the ground. Be aware of the feel of it. Notice the shape of your legs as you sit, the bend, the angles at heel, knees, hips. Rise up into your spine. And your hands just be resting lightly. Feel your head just balanced well on your, on your neck. And this is not so that we, we look good or to please any idea of what meditation should look like. But so that our body rests comfortably without slouching. And it won't bother us then in meditation. As you breathe, be aware of the rise and fall of your chest. Soften into your eyes, just lightly closed and soft down through your cheeks and into your jaw. And as thoughts arise, as they will, just feel you let them go again, don't attach. Just let them drift by like clouds on a summer's day, little clouds. 
we're resting in that blue sky of awareness. And I'll just remind you of the, the last five words of that prayer that I just read. Christ is but myself. I suggest that we use that as, as our mantra for the meditation. So how that can work, you're probably well aware, but just in case, how that works is if you can take those words, Christ is but myself, and if you can fit them to your breath. So you might say, Christ is but, as you breathe in, myself, as you breathe out. It might work in a slightly different way for you. You might say, Christ is but myself as you breathe in and then again as you breathe out. But the idea is that you absolutely anchor yourselves or ourselves together in those words. And that each time you say them, you go a little bit deeper into the meaning. I always think of the words that Jesus gives us in the course are like electric cables. Yeah, so it's not about the words, it's about the electricity. So this is about a kind of transmission for me of light, of truth, of connection, of oneness. Christ is but myself. So let's hold ourselves there. So if we're all there together in those words, Christ is but myself, we will get deeper and deeper into the realisation of that truth. So let's rest there in those words until Teresa gently brings us back with the bell.
gently coming by. Take your time. Might need a deep breath and a stretch. Mm, lovely. Christ is but myself. Mm, wonderful. So I think, Dan, you were going to say something now? Yes, I, um, we have about 14 minutes left for sharing your reflections and your questions. If you'd like to speak, raise your hand or use the reactions button at the bottom of the screen, and I'll invite you to take yourself off mute. If you'd like to ask Leah a question or a comment with confidentiality, put your message in the chat function at the bottom of the screen, and I'll read it out. Norman, would you like to share? Thank you very much. And thank you very much indeed. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, that meditation, uh, your, everything you've said actually more or less coincides where I was this morning before this began. And the, the Christ, um, I always thought was perhaps sitting up in heaven somewhere, sitting beside God, and you have to sort of kneel down and revere him. But now I have a few from the evening, that the nice, kind, gentle, loving person that I am is the Christ in me. It's, it's, I've been looking all the wrong, the wrong places. It's just a gentle, loving person that I am. And I, I'm still trying to come to terms with that. You know, it's just so easy, and yet I had made it so hard. And I'm just unbelievably thankful. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, thank you, Norman. Lovely. I love that word gentle, gentleness. It's so important, isn't it, that we can let go of all that kind of abrasiveness that the world encourages in us. You know, out there fighting, controlling and fixing. It's very harsh, isn't it? And I know I've talked about this before, but when we look at the uh, from the manual for teachers and the, the characteristics, there is that beautiful word, gentleness. So I, I, I feel that's you know, something also that I've learned as years have gone by. It's a, a beautiful quality. And we all are that, really, when we let the ego go. <laughs> Thank you. And I think uh, Linda had her hand up, didn't you? I too, thank you, thank you, thank you for the manifestation of what's been happening to me really recently. Um, you know, they've been, you know, I've read things and yeah, I feel it occasionally, you know, and I feel it. But a little while ago, I knew that I had to stop doing, doing, doing and start to be, um, and I've said before, I'm not clever, I'm not intellectual or academic or anything like that. I'm simplicity. And I, I've been hearing all those words you've said within me recently, really, when your first, um, words that you spoke this morning I yes I'm this is from I'm being shown exactly what I've been feeling thinking seeing doing mm -hmm. and being wow I'm just like Norman I'm just blown away I know I've been shown I'm on the right path Thank you. Thank you so much, Leah. Thank oh, you. That's wonderful. How lovely. And thank Isn't you, that... Norman. <laughs> and what a beautiful word that is, surrender, isn't it? It is. What teaching there is in that word. And again, it's the opposite of what the world's talking about. The world's made by the ego, so what would we be, be expecting, you know? But surrender is quiet and peaceful and restful and passive 
Now, what a lovely word too, passive. You know, again, we're supposed to be active out there, aren't we, proactive? But no, this, this, this work, I think, with the course invites a, a gentle passivity where actually we're not doing anything unless we're guided. You know, and the mind becomes still and quiet and then we can hear what we're being guided to do. But when we're busy, 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 you know, busyness is the opposite, isn't it, of that space within us where we can listen. Yeah, so get rid of as much as we possibly can in our lives. Come to this quiet, peaceful place. And then you kind of, you don't even have to wait. You just have to be. And then all that you need to do will be shown. And it's shown through feelings in our hearts, in our bodies, being drawn towards something or gently sort of shown to move away from something. I have the, the experience in life that everything of the content of our lives is either coming towards us, staying with us, or it's going. And that we think that we're in charge, don't we, of choosing what things and to have and how to make things be in our lives. But no, I don't think it's like that. I think it's being still and quiet. And then if you, you can just say, is this coming towards me? Has it been with me for a while? Is it staying or is it going? Now, everything is, 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 has its own energy and movement directed by the Holy Spirit. We just have to sit back and watch, <laughs> observe, um, and it all unfolds. Another thing that works for me here is to sense the sense the, the feeling of stepping back. Not just stepping back and letting him lead the way, which of course is the thing, but that feeling of not being a protagonist in my life, not being in the centre of my drama and directing everything, but stepping back and getting to a place where I'm gently, non-judgmentally observing. I just observe what is and, every, and everything just gently unfolds then. So I'm on the edge of everything, quietly look, noticing what's happening in my life or in my world. And the exciting thing about this is that, of course, we're making our own illusion all the time, aren't we, by the way that we think. So the more we step back, the less we, we're controlling and fixing and judging, the more beautiful our lives become. A happy dream just arrives all by itself. <laughs> Anybody else wants to say Sandy, would you like to share? Sandy, yeah. When I can unmute myself. Um, thank you, everyone. That's that's wonderful. Um, I had a tiny bit of resistance at the beginning to it. There was a little bit of the ego come up as if to say, you know, who do you think you are? You know, that that Christ is 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 you. And um, then the other part of me came in and just gently said, but that's the truth. And that's that's OK. And then as I just let that happen, it just sort of melted. I felt my whole resistance to it just melt away. And that was really, really beautiful. But it was really interesting to see how quickly the ego wanted to come in and try and poo poo that that truth, really. Yes. <laughs> and um, but but how gentle the um, Holy Spirit, my higher self, is at coming in and, and not trying to bash it away it's just gently saying but no that's the truth that it is it's just um being gentle with the ego and then as soon as I did that there's no conflict no resistance it just just melted so that was really beautiful so thank mm, you very much that's lovely yeah I, there's something <laughs> there that I think was really particularly valuable to highlight is that if you if we fight our ego it fights back yeah. and it actually uses our um, fighting energy or our attempts to to get rid of it it uses it as fuel and sort of gets itself all geared up to to have another argument a different way of saying it shifts around it talks differently sometimes it'll talk in a very aggressive way sometimes it'll be wheedling sometimes it's gentle sometimes it's just sensible and convincing it can take any shape but it will fight back in some way or other if we fight it so I always feel that what we're doing is saying, kind of saying, well, thank you very much, but I think I'll look at, look this way. Um, and I, I'm very much into the idea of letting go. Letting go is part of forgiving for me. 
So when we see a thought that's not serving us, we can simply say, take a deep breath. I think I'll let that go. Just let that go. Don't need that one. I think I'll think something else. I'll choose a new thought. You know, that, that remembering the power that we have, that we do rule our own minds, as we just told in the lesson. Um, I rule my mind that only I can rule. And that ruling is not an aggressive ruling. It's choosing. Yeah, choosing all the time, recognizing, developing an awareness and seeing what the thoughts are like, quickly catching them, taking a breath. I let that thought go. Just let it go. Do you see how gentle that is? And the ego can't fight that. It doesn't want to do with gentleness and softness with things. It just it goes all silly. So that's good. And then we can get on with our lives. But I reckon that we need to be doing that most of the day. The ego is going to take every opportunity to get the mind back under its control and start judging and complaining and moaning um, and causing upset. So we've got to keep watching and say, oops, notice another thought that's obviously ego, don't think I want that. Let's just let that go, just let it go. See how soft that is. And the ego, as I say, doesn't know what to do with our gentleness. Um, and it sort of goes quiet for a bit. So we can get on and think the thoughts we think with God. Mm -hmm. Catherine, would you like to share? Leah, for bringing such an important subject, even the word, I think just hearing you repeat it a lot, surrender. And it is so contrary. I mean, you talked initially about it being contrary to power but or seeking success but it's also contrary to just trying to be a really good person in the world you know and trying to sort things out in our own lives and other people mm. and um I wanted to share you shared a hymn and I have a favorite hymn on a sort of similar surrender theme so mm. I'd like to share a verse from that I'm not as brave as you I'm not going to sing it <laughs> <laughs> um be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Be naught else to me, save that which thou art. Be thou my best thought in the day and the night. Sleeping and waking, thy presence, my light. Wow, beautiful. Mm. These kind of words, Catherine, they're just, they, they soften us, don't they? Mm. They open our hearts. Love is not a concept. <laughs> love is really well, is in a way but it, mostly it's some what we feel and i think that these kinds of words these lyrical beautiful meaningful deep words they soften and open our hearts um because i know that i don't just want to know about the idea of love i want mm. to feel that love in my whole being to love god with all my heart my mind my being so it we don't get there by lots of nice descriptive words. These kind of words work, singing works, music works. And if I'm alone, if I've got enough time, I'd like to sing the last lesson. Um, many of you have sung this with me, but can we go over a bit, Dan, or have we got to stop on time exactly? Well, because it's you, you can go over. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so just quickly, many of you have sung this with me before. I won't tell you the whole story, but it came through from the Holy Spirit. Uh, to me amazingly um long long time ago and it's the last lesson which is the absolute in surrender so it's so perfect so I just remind you how it goes this holy instant would i give to you be you in charge but i would follow you certain that your direction brings me peace isn't it just gorgeous i'm going all tingly <laughs> that lovely lesson uh, message from angela too so um i'll sing it what what, what i'll do is, is dan's giving me permission i'm going to sing it three times yeah? so the first time maybe if you don't haven't sung with me before just listen but have a go at joining in make sure you're all on mute not because it, your voices aren't lovely but because it doesn't work does it if everybody sings together you just to get a noise <laughs> so here we go. This holy instant, this holy instant, would I give to you, would I give to you, be you in charge, 
would follow you certain that your direction gives me peace mm, peace so let's everybody have a go it doesn't matter if you sing the wrong tune and the wrong words it's singing from the heart oh hold on have we got it oh yes Catherine's just holding up the words there wonderful I just repeat a couple of lines. Can you see it? It should help. It's a good idea. I should have done that. Okay, two more times. This holy instant, this holy instant, would I give to you, would I give to you, be you in charge for us would follow you certain that your direction gives me peace mm, peace last time this holy instant this holy instant would i give to you would i give to you be you in charge or i would follow you certain that your direction Gives me peace. Blessings, everyone. Thank you for being here. Lovely to share with you. Thank I you. Hope to see you on yeah. the 27th. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.